When I first found out, my mind first initially was blank. Uh, I didn't know what to think, what to do. And then after that, just feelings, different feelings started flooding in, whether it be being angry, anxiety, uh, sad, um, upset, and just trying to figure out where to go from there, what to do, what's available. In fact, even questioning how long would I live. Um, it was just uh, so many different emotions at that point in time and trying to even contain them because hearing the results right there in front of a complete stranger and then trying to contain those feelings, it was definitely a challenge for me at that point. Well, we've been married for 20 years. We're both positive and it's just been a normal life other than pills. I love it, man. We cannot tell you. Well, my first thoughts when I was first found out I was positive were that I didn't want to die. So it wasn't even a question of me dying because all I knew about HIV was people died. You know, everybody I knew was dead already. So that wasn't going to be an option for me. I needed to live. <laughs> you got to be very careful out there. For the brothers, for the sisters, you always got to carry condoms. What are some of the factors that you rely on um, as a doctor to foster a productive relationship with your patients? Number one, I think that I recognize and I want the, um, the patient to recognize that it takes time. When is therapy usually started and what do you usually start patients with in terms of therapy? Um, one point I want to make off the top is that in general for a newly diagnosed person who is not sick with the virus um, in terms of having any kind of opportunistic infections is that it's never an emergency to start treatment immediately. Mm. Well, can you walk us through some of the services, just generally speaking, sure. some of the services that are out there that people may need to look into when they're first diagnosed with mm -hmm. HIV? Um, I think that um, connecting with uh, an organization that specializes in um, HIV care is first and foremost, um, and you mentioned it before, aid service organizations, and there are numerous organizations throughout you know, the country um, where these organizations have um, a lot of information about, you know, I guess, medical treatments, progression of HIV disease, um, insurance questions that many people have. Um, I guess, support groups that are really important so people don't necessarily feel like they're alone.